Yo, yo. Rengulius here. You are watching Wrench Feels Like Playing Manor Lords. We're back at it again, and we're gonna just continue on with our little town here of Goldhof. Um, we haven't really built up an army just yet. I'm kind of a little getting a little worried. Um, the Hidbolt just conquered a territory here, and I'm just I like don't know. This is my first run, so I don't know exactly how aggressive I have to be. And how soon I should be branching out. Um, he had like an army of like, almost like a, probably like 75 people at least, if not like near a hundred. I have like 20, so it's kind of like hard for me to really justify kind of going to war with him right now but I am a little worried bandits are still a thing I think he took care of this one over here no nope, that camp's still there that camp's still there so all three camps are still there so, I'm not too sure what it takes to take out a bandit camp either because like I've seen them and they're like typically like 15 bandits around there is no one here. I'm wondering if they all got killed. I almost want to just army up and jump over there and see. Bandit camp was sighted. So we got a new bandit camp over here. That sucks. Another ruler's army was sighted. Once again, that sucks too. So he has over a hundred guys there. That's brutal. I have 45 people total. I only have like 30 men. So I don't think I'm ready yet. And I don't have any armaments either. Like, okay. A lot I got to build here. I got chickens, I got a f guy making shields here. Family making shields. They finally made a shield. The problem is, is this, the saw pit. And only having one log storage, which takes the ox to move, which in turn stops the ox from doing other things so it's like holy crap man there's a lot of a lot of micro things you have to really worry about i really need another ox that's for sure took me until the end of the last episode to realize that i could really buy some from the hitching post here for 20. they just i'm not really selling anything anymore though so i'm not really making any money other than the one or two things from the tier two so i'll make like two or three bucks a month off of my uh, upgraded urges, I guess. But I'm not really selling anything because I need I need the stuff that I have right now. I might start selling leather, but then again, like clothing saw supply. Well, these are all good with the clothing supply now. I'm thinking that's because I have two hunter families, and they're finally starting to the tailor starting to be full time I'm assuming now oh so this one clothing stall supply cloaks clothes and shoes leather linen yarn any of the following shoes clothes and cloaks tiles, tools, iron slabs. So can you upgrade these then? Not. 
doesn't say. My charcoal is just going full time. Are these trees coming back? Is that what this is? Yes. Okay, so the forest does replace itself after probably a couple years. Probably like three years, I would have to guess. That's not terrible. Um, we had dealt with a fire last round. And that really took out three of our houses. I added another well to hopefully, like, if we had a fire over here, at least we have a closer well, at least. Because... Everyone was coming from here to drop fire over here, and even like that seemed like a far distance. I literally managed just to save this one house, and then these three burned down. That kind of sucked. So, one lightning bolt took three houses out, and that took a lot of time out and material. Pretty nuts. Okay, so I have 10 gold. I really would like more gold. So we need more planks, essentially. I need a stone farm, or, or a mine, a mine, a stone mine. I have an extra family. There's stone over here. Is this good enough? Cutter camp gathers stone from nearby field stone deposits, which I'm assuming that's what this is. You just plot it right next to it, I assume. That's gonna take some time. slots for housing. I have 13 gold, so yeah, I only get 13 gold so far. <clears throat> Upgrade that slot. I think I was going for ale too early and going for the tavern too early. Unless I started to make my own lot. Family joined the, one of the settlers. New family moved in. Oh wow. I have three unassigned families now, so hopefully that'll... Uh, it's really going to take the ox cart to get up there to drop wood off in order for this to get built. It's two, so it's going to take two freaking trips. That's going to take forever. All the way from here. So I think I need 20 gold to get another ox. That's my goal right now getting another ox cart. I really, really, really need it. We 
We're gonna speed up time just a little bit. We're in September. We only have six months of supply. I was really hoping that adding another hunter group would have helped with our food situation. Kind of looks like it is. We have, we have been taking out a fair amount of animals at this point now with two families. What else do we have here? So we have clay and we have iron in this area. But clearly we can make money with clay and iron. We just need to make sure we get some stone here. People are working on it. I just need to get uh, get that damn ox cart there. <clears throat> yeah, so we have some excess bows. Nice. No, we don't. So my guys are getting armored, which is nice, which is good. We have 13 bowmen, 13 spearmen. We're starting to get a little bit of a militia here. At least we'd be able to defend ourselves, at least. Really like some gold here, though. I'm surprised. Okay, so our stash is finally going up. Our food supply is finally going up. I was about to say, I'm like, I'm really surprised it was not going up. But we are going through a shit ton more animals. Like, we weren't going through any animals with, with the wind family, and now we're going through a bunch. New family moved in. Oh, wow. So we're starting to get a, get a population here. So I have four unassigned. I was really hoping to assign a family here. But that's going to take a while, so... We can maybe, so we have a family there. Maybe I do two families here. I don't know if it can keep up. Like the problem is it only has one log storage, which is crazy. That's weird to me like that. That should have way more than just one log storage. We assigned another family there. We don't really need another family there. I wonder if we go with another family on the charcoal. Like we're keeping up with the firewood, and essentially our firewood is just supplying our charcoal supplier now. We have a lot of firewood. We have a lot of leather. We have three families being claimed. Damn, dude. So I'm losing out on... Probably losing out on a lot here. Zwew. That's that one. Man, I am... Uh, I don't know what to do here. Like, am I supposed to attack them? Kind of seems like it's... A, a lot here. I don't have enough money to buy mercenaries, and I only have 20, like, 24 men? 26 men? That's brutal. And he has a hundred and fucking... Like, I can't attack him. So I really hope I don't end up, uh, get too screwed over here. This is our first playthrough, so I'm still learning how to play the game. So I don't know, maybe I'm just not going fast enough. Okay, I still have three families, so we're gonna go... Ooh, we gained a level, nice. Wow. 
Doubles the amount of meat harvested by hunters. That is nuts. So foreign suppliers, the firewood cart and the food cart. Permanent market stall, which provides a passive income of firewood as long as the region has enough regional wealth. Region does not pay the transfer fee, must be placed on the marketplace. As long as you have enough passive income. Like that doesn't like, I don't. Establishing a new trade route always costs 25 regional wealth. Wow, that seems really good. Everything is like 40 plus. I'm taking that. Done. This only costs 25 to make now. And then I can start selling my leathers. I just need 25 gold, but I need 20 gold for an ox. I'm gonna save up for an ox first. And there's a lot to think about. There is a lot to think about. How are we doing up here? Probably hasn't haven't even had the ox go up there once. That is brutal. What's the ox doing right now? kind of nuts how long uh, sometimes this takes. Where the hell is the ox cart? What do we got here? Berries, berries, ultimate flavor. Big I think the biggest thing is just the hold up between getting this the saw pit going with the one log storage. I think that is literally our holdup right there. That's, that's our uh, bottleneck point. Like, it's crazy how that, that really sucks. It would be nice if they could at least have like five log storage or something. So I have two families on it for like no reason. I'm gonna have to take one off. I have five families doing nothing right now. I really need to figure things out. Um, we will just plop a family in here just cuz. We have a family in there. We don't have any alcohol just yet. <clears throat> plop a family in here.
I don't really need more woodcutters. Like, I guess I could just go more coal. We'll plop a family in the, the coal. For, uh... Charcoal. Still leaves me with two families. Oh, did we freaking get started here? Nice. Oh, is it done? Hell yeah. Didn't even realize. So there we go. We're going to have our start of our stone cutters camp. It's probably going to take an ox to carry stone back, though. I bet. I bet you. Okay, we have a population of 54. Let's upgrade more stuff here. There's no reason not to. Just upgrade that. Upgrade this. With 18 wealth. October. It's the last November. So we have till autumn. I feel like we have a lot of... Man, food is kind of like the thing. I don't even know if that's going to be enough. We're going to have to stop getting more families. We don't have enough supply. That's kind of worrying. I'm going to need to start ordering food from uh, the market, but I don't have money. Wow, okay, so we have 30, we have 30 men at this point. The Baron already has four spots, we only have one. When is a good time to start branching out? Because I'm getting really worried. Like, if he takes this spot, like, what happens? Am I screwed? another ox cart. Come on. We have a lot of a lot of firewood with just the one family working on it. Can't even upgrade that. Like, I'm never gonna get enough planks here if this is just gonna be so slow. Winter is approaching. Fuck. This is scary. So we have seven months of supply, which is technically three and a half months of supply throughout winter. That's nuts. We're gonna be cutting it super close. We cannot getting any more families here. Like, is that is this done? Are we done with families? Yeah. Okay. Holy crap! Okay, so we're getting stoned pretty quickly here. We freaking need some planks, man. Like, we're getting rid of them, obviously, quickly because of the shield maker here. He's just eating them up as soon as they get spot out. How many shields do we have? None. It's just probably because plank building is so slow. Twenty-five gold. Okay, we're buying another ox. Um.
Now, how long does it take to get an ox? Yeah, they come across the forest here, cut through, <clears throat> and then come up here. Keeping the pretty much half of the wild animals there. We've pretty much depleted all the berries. Do we have a surplus of berries or no? I think we have a little bit. Yeah, like 60 surplus. Some surplus of meat. So that's not bad. Seven months supply. So, what is Emmer? Because I might have to delete this road, put some sort of farm, like, right here. And this will have to, like, come around, maybe? But I think I need to put a farm in. I'm a little worried about our food supply here. Or maybe I just put a farm on that side of the road and one on this side of the road. If I go farm... To use... To use to employ families on the field. Farm workers plow the fields as soon as the winter passes. But no later than November. Then, they sow them with the chosen crop. Harvest happens around September. Then the crops are transported to the farmhouse, and wheat is dressed into grain. Deal. Space to grow various crops, including wheat, flax, and barley. To employ peasants on the fields, you need to build a farmhouse. Okay, well, I'm kind of, I'm worried about food right now, so we're going to start building a farm. Make some land here. Is this a four-point thing, or yeah, it's a four-point plot. Okay, so we're going to go here, up to there. Here and there. Is that big enough? Farming. Farmhouse employs families who work on the fields. The workforce is distributed proportionally in accordance with the field set priority level. When crops are growing, they absorb certain nutrients from the soil, temporarily lowering its fertility and thus diminishing the yields over time. To combat this, consider changing crop types, or, even better, leaving the field fallow for a year. So crop rotation. Holy shit. Oh, wow. That's fucking huge. So this is a very small farm, if I had to guess. Damn. Looking at this farmhouse, like, that's probably a very small farm. Might seem weird, but I'm gonna put the farmhouse there and I'm gonna try to put another field here maybe. And I wonder if that works with like multiple fields. If I go here, here.
I'm hoping that works. I'm hoping this is good enough. Um, fallow, which is what I want. Wheat. Barley. So fallow. What is fallow? Fallow fields regenerate over all types of fertility, but have no yields. Wheat. Why is it 36% fertility? I'm confused. What the hell? Emmer fertility. What is emmer? Flax, barley, rye. Emmer. I wish I knew what the hell emmer was. Rye. I'm confused. Why is it only 36, 37 percent? That's what has me a little weird. Barley and flax. So I'm not a freaking <clears throat> agriculture dude, so I don't know what the hell these mean. Like, what is emmer? Barley is barley. Rye is rye. Flax is flax. The fuck is emmer? I guess I'll look it up. Wheat. Well, why didn't they just say fucking wheat? When this says wheat. Like, why do they have to be fucking all fucking hoity-toity here? Could have just said wheat field. But then if it's a wheat field, then why is it not... And what's considered fertile? That's 37, like, they're only 36%. That's a triple? That's double. So that's fertile. Super fertile. Huh. Is there even a point in doing this then? 37% doesn't seem very fertile to me. I don't know what I'm doing. He simply does not know how to cook properly. Okay. We finally have another ox. There we go. Do I have to make a cart or something? Guide is coming. Okay. Thomas. Awesome. Now we have two ox. Hopefully that helps this saw pit out. We're in November. Pretty close to uh, December here.
Okay. I don't necessarily want to invite any more people to show up. I can't even, like, I can barely support what I have here until next season, maybe, until this crop fills out. We're almost out of berries. We are, like, halfway through our farmland there. Okay, so the only thing I'm really missing here... Planks. Planks are really, really, really holding us up. Oh, it's... I need to pause somehow. Is there a way to pause? Boyer. Joiner. Next. Production focus, resources needed for crafting planks, wooden parts. Planks needed too. Can I like have them not? How do I stop this? I don't want them doing this anymore. I can't stop it. Okay, so you'll have to be really careful on what you're doing. So, if you're too aggressive... So do I have to, like, rebuild this whole thing? Like... Like, I can't keep up. With, with saw cutting. I'm going to literally do this for the first time and just permanent livestock. You got him. I got to, uh, I got to move in on this. This family is like barely ever doing anything. They're always just waiting. Rye is the other one. The only thing is, is I don't think I can do Rye. Rye's probably an upgrade, if I had to guess. Yep, right there. Brutal. How much wood do they need? Doesn't tell me. Enables production of Vorbos. Converts all inhabitants to artisans, blocking them behind being assigned to other jobs. It doesn't tell you. Just four planks, and then you just continuously make Vorbos? Is that it? Because where the hell am I storing them if I'm continuously making them? Doesn't seem like I am.
So we're quickly moving along with our stone here. I really need planks. It's really... That's really the detrimental thing. And this shield building joiner shop just messed me up. What's this? Pause this building. Temporarily halts all construction and work-related tasks. Well, that was easy. Why is this not, uh... I still feel like this is not working. going. Why wouldn't they just pick from in the logging camp? I'm so confused. They have to travel all the way over here just to pick up logs? I might have to make a road then. very confused as to why they're going all the way looks like it is. that ox sitting right there and I'll just have him just shuffle back and forth wood I guess for the sawmill so it looks like he's putting him back to on the hitching post to me because that storage is full and he's dedicated to that that is so stupid making some planks here it's brutal this is like I, I know I keep saying it but this is brutal maybe I need more than one socket then I don't know are halfway. Farmhouse finally finished. Now that it's winter time. This can heal a lot of families. I need to pull someone out, even though it's winter time. I think I have someone doubled up here. Maybe pull one out of the granary. Pop them over to the farmland. 
Farming cycles. If the field is not set to fallow, workers will plow it and sow the crop as soon as possible. Yield will increase its growth as harvested in September during the harvest season. Got it. I still have shitty fertility here, even though it's like the best in the area. I'm assuming that these are really, really, really small fields. If I had to guess. Cold. Repair. People require fuel. Uh oh. What's going on? Do I have homeless people? I didn't know that. Why do I have homeless people? Damn it. Well, I uh, will. I don't have. Requires not met. Needs a food stall supply. Damn. Well, I can do this one, I guess. Or not. Not enough room. I don't know why. I thought this is heavier than it looks. I didn't know that I was going to have to put another bird in here. Well. Shit. Lot too small. I'm kind of disappointed that I need another house here. I really don't want to... <laughs> I don't know. I don't really want to grow anymore. But we just put three houses in right here. Boom. Wondering if like my families have grown and they the kids want to move out maybe is the thing and like that's why I I just don't understand why I have homeless. Like these people are homeless? But they're just cold. Like I don't get it. Okay, so I have twelve gold. Starting to get my planks up. They probably get taken away instantly as soon as. Oh no, I paused it. Awesome. Okay, that's why I have planks. Okay, good. Hitching post got re rearranged over to here. Hopefully they don't bring that ox back to this post. I really hope they bring him to that post because it's closer. I hope he's not like assigned to this post. Can I check that? No. Of 
44 leather, that's a lot of leather. Seven planks, six planks, so I'm losing planks. I believe that the Fletcher would probably be taking the planks. Which would then make sense that I have stuff there. Small shields now? What the hell? This requires planks. Everything requires planks. Three people are homeless. People require fuel and a burger plot to live in, or they might freeze to death. Why are these people cold? Like, I don't feel like I have homeless people. Maybe I do. It just kind of seems weird. Speed something is up. So it looks like we have thirty six men. Oh, this is heavier than it looks. People are taking the war bow, so I'm assuming my army is going to start to go up on the archer side. I'm really confused as to what it means by cold. I don't understand. Is it just because they're not wearing clothes? Tanner, transporting hides, cold. Cold. I'm kind of confused. I really don't like it. Like, that kind of concerns me. Like, This camp looks empty. Can I just run over there and, like, destroy it? I don't know if I'm thinking too quickly here. Like, I want to fucking start a new camp. In the next territory over, like, I'm, like, really worried about this other Baron dude. Is surrounding me at this point.
tavern. We got the marketplace there. I don't think I really want my manor there. I don't really want my manor there either. I need more planks. Wow. No hole. Come on. Come on. Berries, so plump and juicy. You want to eat them by the bushel. Twelve gold. This is brutal. We don't have any gold, so we have nineteen gold now. It's January. Fifteen planks. I really need twenty planks to make my manor. A man a family just moved in, so that's gonna deplete my deposits even more, but it's January. We should be fine. Is that another family? So now we have two families that just moved in? How is the animals doing here? We're down to 16. <laughs> no, so of course that's his hitching post. That really sucks. How do I swap him? It's probably not an option. I want him on the other post. planks. We're gonna go... I don't necessarily want to go right here, to be honest. But I don't... I didn't really have a plan for my manor. Go right here, then. Oh, no, not enough supplies. Fletcher took our freaking one plank. Okay, we'll just wait a second. I'm sure it'll pop up pretty quick here. Hopefully. Hey, Mom. Go. We're only losing planks. Come on. Welcome to the castle planner. This is a work in progress feature. Here you can edit the layout of your castle and plan the construction of a new wings and towers. When you press commit, the old layout will disappear and the new one will be constructed. For now, the cost is also fixed. For now. Okay. Placing roads and walls. Wall editing, drag wall point.
How do I spin this fucker? Hold to rotate before placement. Rotate selected. What is this? Castle. I didn't know this was really a castle. Enough anything here. What the hell? What's this? I thought this would have snapped to a uh, road there. I guess it didn't. Outer tower. So, shit. I need to leave. I don't know what the hell is going on here. I don't necessarily understand what this is. Cool. Um... Is there a way to delete a road? I'm doing. Oh well. Food variety definitely is lacking. Clothing is obviously lacking. I only have leather. Fuel is 100% though, which is nice, even though so I have people apparently who are freezing and I don't understand. That might have to do with clothing, I don't know. That. 
Oh, wow. Timber. What's going on here? <clears throat> At this point, I think it's just we're too far away and it's just going to take too long. Is that the problem? So, shit. How is this gonna work? I'm gonna have to... Undedicate this, I think. Bunch of meat, bunch of berries, bunch of firewood, bunch of charcoal. Like, I'm good on firewood and charcoal. I definitely need more timber. Hmm. We have two or three unassigned families right now. And signing two families here even makes any sense when you can only do one log at a time. I don't I don't know. Seems weird. Definitely want to upgrade my storage here. Family moving in? Holy crap. Um Add another family to the farmhouse. One to the granary, even though I don't think I really need one there. Sixty-three people here now. Wow. Eighteen archers, sixteen spearmen. Almost want to start. I don't know. Can I just take this over? Like. I'm assuming if I try to take this over, he's going to come and attack me. Man, I'm worried. I wonder if I take this over if he comes and attacks me anyways. I'm going to wait until, obviously, my manor is built here. I'm assuming this was a stupid spot. And as we advance in the game, this is going to be poorly defended. Something tells me something like that's going to be the case. We've got a booming market here, like... we got 26 gold. Can I... Veg... I don't know how much that's actually going to yield. something. Storage. 
still building this too. I don't want to build a stable like right here, probably. Next to the livestock trading post? I don't know. I don't necessarily like this location. Bandicamp was sighted. Another ruler's army was sighted. So he's going to start taking another area over. That's what that means. Damn. I am feeling a little worried here. Like, am I going to be too far behind to, like, my goal is dominance apparently i think right like i have two families constructing At this point, I'm like, I really want to buy another ox, it seems. don't understand this. People require fuel and Bergen plot to live in or they might freeze to death. Like... Timber that's taking forever, obviously. We're into February. We're still good on our food supply. We have a bunch of fuel. Kind of sucks that we're like having to pull from all the way back here. I don't see any reason why I wouldn't just throw a road in here. So let's throw a road in. this helps. Uh-oh. Enemy units. Brigands. Outlaws. Pause. They're way across the map. How long does it take to... Uh, rally? So that's under 40, and they're just one type. We have a bunch of archers. I'm really hoping that the archers is... See what happens to them. Looks like they might be coming for us. Band of Raiders was near Nusi. Just this. Which is these fox. 
I wonder if they're coming for us. Is that the Raiders near completed? So that's the what the warning was. Like this is the warning. So we definitely have enough to fight them off. I think. As long as like there's no like they're stronger than my people that type thing. That would suck. So they're like really far away. I don't have to worry just yet. March, so spring. Fuck yeah. Ooh, this is heavier than it looks. Are they coming for us or no? It's growing. I'm a little worried. About our animals. I know it'll stop at 10 there, so we're, we're done. So I have, like, a couple families that are just kind of not doing anything. We're getting our planks. I can probably start selling stone at this point. I don't want to get too ahead of myself. We'll see how much yield we get out of this. I don't know. Another army right here. Are they headed towards the raiders? Okay, so they're actually moved pretty far here. How close do I need to raise and rally my troops here? I'm gonna... We got a bunch of supply. I think I should probably rally my troops. I don't I don't I'm a little worried. Like I don't know how close and how long it takes. They sent in an army of thirty six. I don't think I want to get let them get to me in case they like burn play things. But essentially I could probably get let them get to like here. Damn, frickin' timber man, it's just these ox. Oh, when we get to another 20 here, I'm going to just buy another ox, I guess. I don't think I have a really oh, much of a choice here. That's the thing that's kind of holding us back pretty, pretty largely. Fence up. Allows to use fallow field as a pasture, which rapidly restores lost fertility. I'd like to meet them somewhere on this field here. I might want to start rallying.
right outside the church. Move your units. Select units with the left mouse button. Hold and drag to select multiple units. Command selected units with the right mouse button. Hold and drag to form a line. Hold Alt while dragging to keep the formation when multiple units are commanded. Hold Control and to draw waypoints for a single squad. Combat strength of your units depends on many factors. Stances. Check the army tab below to set them all. Set them. All have pros and cons. Morale is the willingness to fight. If it is if it reaches critical points, some stances become unavailable and eventually the unit will flee from battle. Fatigue. Soldiers become tired when running and fighting. When exhausted, they can no longer run or fight well. Effectiveness is the attack and defense multiplier. The unit might have a hard time fighting uphill or archer struggle while shooting in the rain. Hold tab to inspect the details. Okay, so placement does matter. Okay. So we want to start from the top. We gonna go got it our army's formed our army's formed we're paused right now they're right there we are somewhat on a hill so if they're gonna come walking down they gathered really fast so that was super fast i am gonna form up and i guess meet them right here I don't know. Really not much of a slope, but it's probably enough. I don't know what I'm doing. We're gonna go ahead. Select our troops. We're gonna meet them over here. Yes, sir! Balance, stand your ground, rush forward, disband, run to position, hold. So we're going to click off the run to position. We're going to press play. We don't need a run. We have time. So they come through. We meet them like somewhere like here. So we're gonna go. Spear militia. Here. Archers. Here. Hopefully we're okay. They have a river to cross, too. Man. Almost want to move forward. And meet them at the river. I don't know if that has any kind of bearing. But if I meet them at the river, I don't have any advantage in terms of kill advantage. Enemy has been spotted. Let's actually pause. Fuck, how? I don't see any range.
We're gonna stay here. Probably could get some kills when they're crossing the river. Missile alert. Soldiers watch for enemy missiles. Chance to avoid or block enemy missiles when it's doubled, but melee defense is bad. Give ground. Slowly pushes the formation line backwards. Stand your ground. Soldiers try to stand their ground and defense is doubled, but attack frequency is half. Push forward. Soldiers try to push forward. No, we're good. Okay, so rivers don't really matter. Like, they didn't look like they slowed down or anything through there. Am I wrong? Maybe a little bit? Okay, we're gonna pause again. Is there any way? Okay. They have... Okay, they're shooting. Perfect. Your hold. No, 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 wrong, wrong. I don't lose anyone. They're losing men. I don't think I've lost anyone yet. Maybe I have. I don't know. Uh oh. Looks like I'm losing people. Damn. I'm losing people. They're not losing people. I'm losing people. Oh no. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Shit, dude. We just died. Holy shit. Is that the end of my run? Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's it, I guess. Holy fuck. How are you supposed to defend that? I obviously didn't do something right. Wow. I'm just gonna let it happen, I guess. Kinda, wow. I don't have money. Local thuds for 15 bucks. Wow. And that's how it ends, eh? All of that just to get it burnt down. Wow. That's crazy. Wow.
So even, I think I had the numbers advantage there, and they just destroyed me. I kind of figured that might have been the, like, the case. I was worried that they were going to be stronger than me no matter what. Wow. And my whole village is burnt to the ground. That is nutty. Are they trying to put the fires out? So the raid is over? This is brutal. All right. Everything got burnt to the ground. And there's still brigands here. Are those my guys? Uh, how useful, how useful you fucks are. Necessarily lose a lot of people. But I lost everything. I'm seriously considering starting over. Kind of take this as a lesson learned. And maybe I need to move along faster with certain things. Like armament. Like maybe put more armor on my guys sooner. I don't know, man. That was rough. I just got destroyed. Still have people who are cold. I don't get it. Why are you cold? Fresh start for me and me own. Yeah, that sucked, man. That freaking sucked. are kind of getting back to normal. The only problem is, is that they killed one of my fucking ox. 
Another ruler's army was sighted. And they killed, like, all of my men. I have seven fa- I am so fucking confused. Yeah. I'm gonna take that as a lesson learned. I kind of wanted to start over anyways. Maybe try compacting my city a little bit more. I think I was trying to spread this out too much. Not realizing how long things took. I don't know, maybe... Maybe I just push through this? I'm just worried that now, after that, I am now even further behind. I don't know. Yeah. Yep. Okay. That was uh That was a good first run. I learned a lot of things on this run. I think I kind of have a better grasp of what to do. The only thing is, is just like I don't know how to maybe off optimize how I do things to get things done faster. That's kind of the only thing I really need to think about. Maybe get Ox in more quick, quickly at the beginning there, because I did buy a bunch of things that I probably didn't need to buy right away. Man. Yeah, because I was trying to do this tavern thing, and I probably wasted a good, like, 30 to 50 gold. Yeah, okay. That was my first run of Banner Lord or uh, Manor Lords. Until next time. Peace.